Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the British Mark III railway carriage. Now this is used for the high-speed passenger train, you might know it as the Intercity 125, and it's basically this famous British train. I've seen a lot of pictures of this online, but uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. We have an 8-car train set in the middle with like uh, two locomotives on each end. I believe they might be diesel because they don't have pantographs on them. And yeah, this is uh, pretty much what it looks like. I wanted to post this video first before the locomotive, so you have like something to do afterwards just to finish it. And by the way, this is commissioned by the secret German, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And if you want to do a commission, you can just check out my self I page. Link in the description. And yeah, let's get started on this build. So first thing we're going to do is make the floor. So we're going to take gray concrete, and add it uh, two blocks above the tracks, two blocks wide to one side. Uh, the British trains, uh, they are kind of narrow, but I put them on standard gauge tracks, so they will be leaning onto one side. Just be aware of that. So this part, it's going to be 36 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. It is quite long and do it on the other side. Like this. Alright, so once we do that, let's add pistons to the sides like this. And put a lever down below, two of them, uh, so it can pull them out. So now we can have uh, <laughs> what they call it, the buffers. And uh, when you have multiple carriages like this with the buffers, you can just extend one out and have the other stick in. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it will look like... Well, like this, you can see one is kind of pushing that thing inwards. All right, so after we do that, let's take uh, hoppers and add the wheel. So we're gonna go down here, uh, skip two from the edge, and then add two hoppers. Actually, you can just make a two by two of hoppers and then uh, two slabs in between. Then uh, another two by two hoppers. And for the other side, it is the same th same thing. I was going to say shrink, but no, that's not right. <clears throat> Let's add the hoppers first, and then we can add the slab. Alright, so after we do that, let's add the slabs. So we're going to have the slabs line up alongside the hoppers, and then it goes one block past it like this. Same thing on the other side. And this... I think it is uh, asymmetrical, so it's going to be the same thing on both sides. I mean, not asymmetrical, symmetrical. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to add the doorway on the sides, like the very end. Actually, there is no doorway, so I guess we'll just pretend there is one and just build a gangway. So I'm going to add, looks like a 2 by, or rather a 3 by 4 right on top of here, and then two blocks on top. And then our fake gangway right here with cups and wool. This train is way too narrow to add a real door here so it just looks like that. So I'm going to add a 2 by 3 cobbles and wall for the gangway. Uh, down below let's add coupling right here, double stone brick slabs, another slab right here, and then two slabs on top. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side so uh, 4 by 3 and then add two blocks on top in the middle and then two by three uh, cobblestone wall and then add uh, the coupling to one side and then this slab to hold up the gangway and also the top of the gangway. All right, and then we're gonna pretty much connect the roof together. Uh, we're using a lot of gray concrete for this build. So yeah, it's all the same color. Although maybe this might be lighter, I'm not sure. Cause it's hard to tell from the pictures because sometimes the exposure might change or might be <laughs> different from what it looks like in real life. I've seen videos, but you can't really... There's not a lot of videos on the Intercity 125 train, so it's a bit hard to tell. 
All right, so then we're gonna add stone brick slabs to the sides of the roof like this. Line it up all the way back. Then let's do the other side like this. And then uh, we're gonna add a little box down here for some detailing. Uh, just fill in this middle section where the slabs kind of end. And we're gonna use a gray concrete once again. Maybe just like a air conditioning unit or like a ventilation system. Or electricity perhaps. Okay, so after that Let's add the slabs uh, inside of it, so like this. You can see this is supposed to be like a uh, slanted. So I'm just gonna add this flooring. Well, technically it's not the floor, but it's right underneath the floor. All right, so once we do that, uh, let's move on to the doors. So we're going to add iron door to this uh, corners, four of them. And then we're going to take uh, cyan concrete and add a stripe going across the bottom. And this side. And we'll also have a stripe on the top, which is quartz. I don't lock myself in although it's not it's not that big of a deal since you could just uh, break blocks in creative I don't know what game mode you guys are playing though maybe someone might be able to sin survival so I don't know yeah I, I just I just did what I was fearing okay that wasn't so bad right okay next uh, let's add the pillars for the windows so there's going to be like this tiny window right next to the doorway so we'll add the pillars for that but uh the rest of them they're like two block wide windows so we're going to leave like these two block wide holes adding pillars of quartz between them same thing on the other side pillars and of course, after we do that, uh, we're gonna have to add the glass. I'm gonna use black stained glass for this. It's like my favorite block. Actually, my favorite block, it used to be cyan uh, stained clay, but that's not even called cyan anymore. Oh, I missed one right here. But black stained glass, I remember when that didn't exist, I had to use regular Minecraft glass, which kind of sucks. In my opinion, so I like never use that these days. I always use stained glass, which you should since it looks a lot better. All right, so this is looking pretty done, but we're not done yet. We're gonna add a little bit more detail. I don't know why this iron vent. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a last minute thing. Oh, this, okay, this iron bar is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be right next to the door. But if you see like this train, I, I fixed it right there, but not for this one. So let me do that. Add an iron bar uh, right next to the iron door, just on the inner side. All four corners, just on the bottom one. Then we're gonna add a little writing on the side. So this side, it's gonna be uh, two blocks below. I mean, two blocks wide below this two block wide window. I'm gonna use white wall to differentiate it from the quartz and there will be one uh, in this pillar right here. For the other side, we're just going to do the same thing. we we'll just flip it around. So the side two blocks down there and then the side one block below the pillar. Alright, so yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much it on how to build uh, the Mark III uh, railway carriage for the intercity uh, high-speed train 125. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again to the Secret German for commissioning this build. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.